key matchups, players to watch, predictions and more for Sunday's Bears-Eagles game at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia noon, FOX 32.4 Story Law Soaring Eagles The Bears visit one of the two hottest teams in the NFL on Sunday. The Eagles, whose eight-game winning streak is matched only by the Saints, haven't lost at home and they boast the highest scoring offense in the league at 32 points per game. Balanced offensive attack is led by second-year quarterback Carson Wentz and former Bears wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon has been a bright spot on offense. Eagles coach Doug Peterson said, he works hard every single day. He doesn't complain. He doesn't come crawling into my office saying he's not being targeted enough. Trubisky versus Wentz. It would be difficult to watch the game and not wonder if Bears rookie quarterback Mitch Trubisky can make just some of the strides Wentz has made in his second season. Like Trubisky this year, Wentz was the second overall draft pick in 2016. With a year under his belt and more weapons at his disposal, Wentz has piled up 2,430 yards and 25 touchdowns passing and 224 yards rushing. He has just gotten better. Better in all facets. Bears defensive coordinator Vic Fangio said, They are a very diversified offense, and he's managing it and operating it very well. You would never know. It's just his second season, kicking off when Connor Barth missed a tying kick in the final seconds against the Lions, he sealed his departure paperwork. Now the Bears will see if fourth-year kicker Cairo Santos can be more effective after recovering from a groin injury. That prompted the Chiefs to cut him. It feels amazing to be healthy and to get an opportunity to play in such a great organization, Santos said. I was hoping this opportunity would work out for both of us. I was impressed from top to bottom from Ryan Pace to the coaches and people around here that it gives you a good atmosphere as a player to come and succeed. Defensive deficiencies The Bears defense took another big hit when outside linebacker Leonard Floyd went down with a knee injury. Sunday against the Lions, to go along with Floyd missing a significant amount of time. The Bears were banged up early this week in practice, as inside linebacker Danny Trevathan again sat out with a calf strain and defensive end Akeem Hicks was hobbled with a knee issue. All of these injuries make it that much more difficult to slow. Once in the formidable Eagles offense, they're starting to pile up a little bit, Fangio said but our guys have a good attitude, and we're going to go out and play. Colleen Kane matchups in the air NFL ranked Bears offense 31st, Eagles defense 19th improved pass. Protection last Sunday against the Lions enabled rookie quarterback Mitch Trubisky to get to the third option in his progression more consistently. And when his footwork is sharp, his throws our accurate receiver Dontrell Inman, nine catches, 131 yards in two games reliably comes back to the ball. Eagles for strong rookie defensive end Derek Barnett, 412 sacks effectively bends the edge of his rushes by getting low to turn the corner. The Eagles have 14 interceptions to the Bears, four on the ground NFL ranked Bears offense, fifth Eagles defense, one St. Jordan. Howard averaged a career-high 8.3 yards per carry last Sunday. He's on pace for 1,346 rushing yards, which almost certainly would get him back in the Pro Bowl. Right guard. Kyle Long isn't healthy right ankle, left shoulder, left hand, but even at less than full strength, his athleticism is critical to the running game. Eagles tackles Fletcher Cox and Timmy Jernigan are asked to penetrate the backfield in their 43 scheme, so the Bears must get off the ball on time and win early in the down. Bears 26th in total offense, T 27th in points scored Eagles 7th in total defense, 7th in points Alouette and the Air NFL rank Eagles offense 15th, Bears defense 12th, this second year quarterback Carson Wentz is an NFL. MVP candidate because of his athleticism, toughness, pocket awareness, accuracy and smarts. He extends plays and makes advantageous changes before the snap. As reliable tight end Zach Ertz has commanded defense's attention, former Bears receiver Alshon Jeffrey has taken advantage of single coverage in the 
Last three games, 12 catches, 213 yards, and four touchdowns. The Bears will badly miss Leonard Floyd's athleticism rushing the passer. They will have to be creative with their rushes. On the ground, NFL rank Eagles offense second, Bears defense 12th in the two games since trading. For running back Jay Ajayi on Halloween, he has had runs of 46 and 71 yards on excellently blocked plays. Otherwise, he has averaged 3.9 yards on 13 carries. He runs with power, good vision and runs behind his pads. The Eagles also rotate like Garrett Blunt and rookie Corey Clement, formerly of Wisconsin. Blunt runs between the tackles and Clement offers a receiving element. The Bears need Danny Trevathan Calf and Endakiam Hicks need to strengthen the middle. Eagles third in total offense, first in points scored Bears 11th in total. Defense, 15th in points allowed. Rich Campbell the signment Eagles receiver Alshon Jeffrey scores a touchdown. During the first half against the Broncos, Sunday, November 5, 2017, in Philadelphia. Michael Perez, AP Eagles WR Alshon Jeffrey No. 17 measurables 6 foot 3, 218 pounds assigned Bears cornerbacks Prince Amakamura No. 20 and Kyle Fuller No. 23 notable numbers Jeffrey ranks 50th in the NFL in receptions. 38, 26th in receiving yards 567 and 4th in receiving touchdown 6, the former. Bear has been heating up recently with 12 catches, 213 yards, and 4 touchdowns in his last three games. The Bears' starting cornerbacks have yet to record an interception this season. Scouting report Jeffrey signed a one-year, $9.5 million deal in March but hasn't fully emerged as the game-changer the Eagles envisioned. He has yet to record a 100-yard game and has topped 75 yards just twice. But Jeffrey remains a big part of the Eagles' passing attack and has been targeted a team high 80 times. He hasn't been consistently productive in snatching 5,050 balls in coverage and could hit the open market again in four months. Still, the Bears have enough familiarity with Jeffrey to understand the way he can affect a game with his deceptive speed and large catch radius. Eagles coach Doug Peterson has also praised Jeffrey for his work ethic, unselfishness and natural connection with quarterback Carson Wentz. That trust seems to be growing word from within. There may be a lot of emotion, but at the same time, it's part of the business. You may face your old team at some point. You may stay with a team forever. I look at it as a normal game. I'm ready to play, Jeffrey, on facing his former team, Dan Weederer scouting report Eagles tight end Zach Ertz scores a touchdown. During the first half against the 49ers, Sunday, October 29, 2017, in Philadelphia. Michael Perez, AP Zacherts, Eagles time formation for this report was obtained from NFL scouts. Zach Hertz is in his fifth season since the Eagles drafted him in the second round out of Stanford in 2013. The six foot five, 250 pounder, who missed the week two meeting with the Bears last season because of a rib injury, is fifth among NFL tight ends this season with 45 receptions, fourth with 536 yards and second with six touchdown receptions. He is coming off a career-best season in which he caught 78 passes for 816 yards and four touchdowns for then rookie quarterback Carson Wentz. He has five career 100-yard games, all Against NFC East opponents, he should be in the discussion with Jason Kelsey and Grant Robb. Grankowski is the best tight end in the league, the scout said. And that's based on his route running. He's a very smooth route runner just like Kelsey. Gronk is bigger and a little clunkier at times, but Ertz's athleticism is underrated in my opinion. Watch him and he gets in and out of breaks with really good footwork and he accelerates out of his break. He runs the seam route as well as anyone. He gets the safeties to widen outside and then he snaps it off in kind of turns that seam into a quick post. If you're a defensive back, what do you do? You're stuck outside and even if you drive on the ball he's going to use his frame and leverage to keep you away from it. Ertz has real 
soft hands at the point of attack and he's really good after the catch, he's kind. I've liked Greg Olson when he was younger, a little faster. He's a guy who can catch a crossing route and turn it into 25 or 30 yards or catch a ball in the flat off a boot play, break a tackle and go for 25. He's pretty good blocking too and just look at how much they're running the ball this year. Second in the league in rushing attempts and they are pounding the hell out of the ball on the ground. They'll use him in two tight, three tight and he's good. He can hold up and is better than you would think. Ertz will run the corner route, the deep square and well. You're talking about a complete tight end with playmaking ability. Brad Biggs predictions Brad Biggs, 55 Eagles are due for hiccup in next six weeks but unlikely here with Bears pass rush compromised. Eagles have top-ranked run defense in NFL and that will challenge Bears to remain balanced defensively. Eagles 34, Bears 17 Rich Campbell 64 Eagles are one of most balanced teams in NFL. They have scored the most points. Their 20 takeaways are third most. They have a game-changing quarterback. They aren't a favorable matchup for anyone, let alone the offensively challenged Bears, whose best defensive players are injured. For the Bears to keep it close and have a chance at the end, they will need to catch Eagles in a siesta of their own. Their touchdown favorites coming off critical Sunday night divisional road victory. Maybe they let down, and that sloppiness allows Bears to throw a jab or two. Bears have to stay two-dimensional offensively, but score will dictate that. Eagles 31, Bears 17, David Ha 46, new kicker Cairo Santos will enjoy his Bears debut but everyone else's trip to Philly to play the NFC's best will be a flop. Eagles 31, Bears 19, Colleen Kane 55, banked up Bears defense with Leonard Floyd the latest. Casualty is going to have tough time slowing down Carson Wentz and Red Hot Eagles offense. Big question will the Bears at least make it respectable? Eagles 31, Bears 20, Mike Mulligan 46, how good is Carson Wentz? He leads NFL with 25 TD passes and has thrown just three interceptions in last 246 attempts. Battered Bears defense won't bail them out. In this one, Eagles 34, Bears 17, Phil Thompson 55, Carson Wentz enters game leading Tom Brady. In Pro Bowl voting by more than 33,000. Sorry, Tom, Wentz is about to put you into the rearview mirror once he carves up an injury-riddled Bears defense. Eagles. 34, Bears 21, Dan Wiederer 82, the Eagles, under MVP candidate Carson Wentz, have the highest scoring defense in the NFL. The Bears defense, meanwhile, has been decimated by injuries. You do the math. With Leonard Floyd out for the season, the Bears will have to get Creative to create pressure. Injuries to Danny Trevathan Calf and Akeem Hicks knee have further weakened the unit. The Eagles, coming off an impressive road blow out of the Cowboys, will have to avoid a trap game here. But they certainly have the balance on offense. And the playmaking quarterback in Wentz to roll to victory number 10. Eagles 34, Bears. 17 Alsh and Jeffrey fell into Eagles' lap. Now maybe they ride his Super Bowl prediction, Bears. Place Leonard Floyd on IR right knee surgery planned Bears celebrating Mitch Trubisky's small victories. In absence of wins.